All right, y'all, so I have been saying for years and years and years that I could just, I felt like I could just not do a wash and go. I felt like everything I did, I wasn't getting it right, but I finally cracked the code to be able to do a great wash and go for my natural hair. So if you are interested to see how I got these wash and go results and how your girl cracked the wash and go code for her hair, then please stay tuned for the rest of the video. Hey guys, welcome to my video. It's Cammy J official, so let's start the show. My name is Cammy. welcome or welcome back to my channel. Let's go ahead and get right to the video. All right, y'all, so I'm gonna start out by using this Camille Rose Spiked Honey Mousse. Y'all know Camille Rose loves to put honey in a lot of things, but I've used this for twist outs before and really wanted to try it for a wash and go. This is very hydrating and moisturizing for natural hair. I'm also going to be using this styling tool. This is the wet brush. And yes, I did take this from my daughter. I did borrow it from her because I couldn't find my own. So this is the Princess Tiana wet brush. This is very affordable. I picked this up at Target and this is perfect for smoothing out natural hair as well as detangling hair as well. So guys, I'm going to be starting out on freshly washed hair. And this is one of the most important things you're going to need to have a successful wash and go. I have learned this, okay, from experience. The hair needs to be clean, y'all. It needs to be clean. And I'm also going to be using my long spray bottle and my satin scrunchie just to, you know, prevent the style from getting tangled or anything else. So I'm going to, with my freshly washed hair, I'm just going to take it out of the bigger sections that it was in when I washed it in the shower. I'm going to just use my fingers to fluff out the hair, making sure that, you know, there aren't any additional tangles or anything else. And the next thing you're going to see is me grabbing a smaller section of hair. I have found to get that successful wash and go, I need to work in smaller sections. And guys, this is the second most important thing, okay? Is making sure your hair is wet. I mean, your hair has to be really wet. So you're going to see me take that spray bottle and begin to wet my hair and smooth it through. And then I'm going to take just two, three pumps of that mousse, as you can see, very fluffy. And this mousse also smells like honey. So be aware of that. If you're somebody who's sensitive to smells, it does smell a little bit like like burnt honey. But I am going to put this in my hair and as you can see, I'm just smoothing it into my hair, making sure that it is coating the hair. And once I do that, then I'm going to grab the detangling brush. Now it's really important that you detangle your sections because when it comes to this style, you don't want any tangles when you are doing a wash and go. So that's why you're just going to see me take the brush several times through and smooth it into the hair. Once I have smoothed it into the hair guys, now I'm going to begin to separate the curls even more. When I do this separation, this is just going to help with the definition for the wash and go. I have tried it several times and it's come out really well when I just use my fingers to gently separate the strands and basically give it the individual look that I want. So as you can see, that section has been done and I have set the curls with the mousse after detangling it. So I'm going to move on to the next section. Again, grabbing a section that is smaller than the larger section so that way I can get the hair nice and wet with the spray bottle and get those steps going. So y'all, like I said in the beginning of the video, I really thought that I could not do a wash and go and I hated them for so long but it was really user error so I had to take time to really sit down and try several different techniques to learn how to do it such as making sure my hair is clean making sure that the section is saturated and also using enough product now you're probably thinking Cammy, you are going ham with this mousse, okay? But I'm telling you, it is perfectly fine. It is perfectly fine to have a lot of mousse in your hair, especially when you wanna set this style. And this mousse is very lightweight, so you can go overboard. So to all my heavy-handed naturals, this is a dream for you, okay, honey? Because you can use as much mousse as you want. And as you can see, the brush is gliding through. And once I have that nice and detangled, once again, taking my fingers and just raking my hands through to separate the hair. So the more you separate it, 
that's the kind of definition i feel like the more definition you're going to get um in that section so if you don't want this to be like too defined you want more of like a chunkier look then of course you will uh separate less of the section but that is how that is looking thus far now i have to admit one of my biggest misconceptions about wash and goes came from the name the name is a misnomer because there is nothing go about this style like y'all you, you see how slow i'm going i like to take my time when i do my hair so when they call this a wash and go they really need to rename this a wash and slow because you want to take your time you don't want to you know rip and run through your hair so it is going to take time for me it took about a good um 35 minutes i'll say to do the whole style from start to finish um and only because again i don't like to rush when i do my hair when i rush and do my hair I get crazy breakage so i wasn't going to rush for nobody when it came to this style and also what you're going to see me do is any excess that i have from the mousse i'm going to use it you know on the edges of my hair and everything else because we don't want to waste anything but again just taking that wet brush and gently detangling the hair as you guys can see i am not ripping through the hair i'm just taking it nice and slow so again for this section using my fingers this finger method and just separating the curls out as you like now some people like to take a denman brush and have the brush do the separation you can do that as well and i'm just separating that part here to see like what side i want my hair to fall on because when you set your wash and go which i'm going to show you in a little bit that's going to be important so make sure you know kind of like where you want your hair to fall when you are doing and applying the style so i chose to use a mousse for this wash and go because i love the results when using mousse i have also tried this with gels like y'all when i tell you i have been practicing how to do wash and goes and i'm so excited to bring you guys more wash and go videos and yes i am a twist out girly to the end of my days but it's just exciting when you you know take the time to like try to master something else and try to do something else that you don't typically do with your hair especially if you found it to be a challenge in the past now as you can see i'm just using the one product and where i went wrong in the past when i tried to do wash and goes when i was on the internet talking about some wash and goes don't work for me okay just because it was user error it was all me not the style um i'm not using any oils or a leave-in conditioner or anything like that and i'm not saying that you're wrong if you do that but i have found the best results for my wash and go to get it the way that i want to is to just use the products as is without adding anything additional like y'all know i do the um the no raw oils no um raw butters so i'm going to show you what my hair looks like with everything done and boom here we are so my hair is completely full of the mousse from root to tip okay and you guys can already see the separation and the definition in my hair from using that technique that i showed you throughout the video now anything that is excess and extra i'm just going to use that on my hairline just to you know smooth that in i don't want any of this mousse to go to waste because you know we I paid some money for this okay so we're going to use it all and this is lightweight enough that you know it's not going to be detrimental to your hair if you add some more there i also want to make sure that i'm getting my edges because this mousse is moisturizing i don't want my edges to be dry or anything like you got to take care of the edges as well so this is the top of my head what everything looks like with the mousse fully in my hair i did not miss any parts or miss any sections of my hair and i just wanted to give you like the side view and the back view so that way you can see how the entire style looks while wet now we're going to move on to the second part which is arguably the most important part y'all i went on amazon.com and i invested in a sit under dryer you're going to need to make this investment in a hooded dryer or getting a diffusing attachment for your blow dryer the reason why my wash and goes were trash before and they were never coming out right is because i wasn't using heat 
to set the style. You're going to need to use heat to set the style. Trust me, I used to go around thinking, oh, I'll just let this wash and go, you know, air dry. And then I would be upset because I'd be like, wash and goes are just not for me. They don't work. They don't come out right, blah, blah, blah. But it was really because I was not doing the fundamental thing, which was sitting under the dryer. So you're going to need to use heat to set this wash and go. So definitely make the investment of the $30, $40, get, you know, the dryer or get the um, attached which is a fluffy yet defined wash and go like I feel like this is the perfect wash and go for me because I don't like helmet hair I don't I don't like my hair being hard or crunchy but I do like for it to be defined and fluffy all right guys I really hope that you like this video if you did please give it a thumbs up also please consider subscribing to my channel clicking on that notification bell so that way you know whenever I post more videos but as always stay safe stay blessed and I will catch you in the next one bye